Hi folks, I've been playing around in my solar workshop lately with semiconductor diode strings to form solar powered electric heating elements, basically solid state heating elements. One of the main benefits of such elements is they effectively extract more heat from the same solar panels versus standard resistance based heating elements. I wanted to see if I could heat or even boil water with these diode strings and what would happen. What you're seeing here is footage I collected from earlier tests. And indeed the diodes can efficiently heat water or even boiling water and therefore should also be able to cook food. Anyway, I'm looking further into this technology to see what all it can do and I hope to make a few prototypes and we'll share those when I have them. Here I'm using a combination of either one or two 100 watt solar panels mounted outside the wall on my solar workshop. Both options were effective, obviously two panels are much more powerful. As I mentioned earlier, this type of setup is able to extract more heat from the same solar panels versus a normal resistance heating element, which makes it very attractive and interesting for all kinds of solar applications. There's another video on the way that's going to explain how the efficiency and everything else works in far more detail. I find this stuff quite interesting and hope to have a couple of more videos in the series. I've already tested diodes like this for heating my workshop directly off of solar panels and there's a video of that posted in the description. It does seem to work pretty well, although there are certain challenges. When I first started this test I could see bubbles forming on the diodes indicating they were getting very hot. Of course there are temperature limits and if the diodes get too hot they would be damaged. This is the first part of the test where the temperature is only around 115 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm still playing around with this stuff. If I build anything good, I'll make sure and post an update. Thanks for watching and see you later.